Live pictures from sky to a fire tearing through a commercial building in North Hollywood. The flames so intense at one point crews had to back off and evacuate. Our CBS 2's Lori Perez live there on the scene. Lori, I'm told you spoke to a witness. Yeah, I mean, we just walked up here uh, just moments ago, and, you know, it smells, the smell is enormous. And uh, this young woman was here, and she was telling us that she's been here since the very beginning. For about an hour, you said, just to describe what happened. There, so let me set the scene for you. So there's a storage facility right across the street. She was here getting a storage unit, and then... Yeah, I was just coming out of the storage unit, and I heard screams. And then you could see a little bit of smoke. It hadn't really taken off yet. But the screams were terrifying. So I was running around the building trying to find a way to get in. Uh, there were some people around here with like really heavy tools to break open the, the locks and the chains. They threw that open. Uh, we could hear the screams from the window. People were trapped inside with the metal bars. And I mean, these awesome people just around here happened to have those tools, got them free. And now I think the entire L.A. Fire Department has shown up. Right. I mean, so also, so this is kind of a light industrial area. There are lots of little um, buildings like this. this. Is This is Goldstein Auctions. You can see um, from the sign here that they have retail movie props. Um, we saw, you know, cars and such, that kind of equipment in there. So a lot of these buildings um, are people with, like she was saying, like heavy tools. Just describe, I mean, were you frantic as you were watching? Yeah, I mean, the, I have it on video because you don't really know what to do in that moment. And I wanted to get their faces, too, to put some faces to the sounds, just who's in the building. Um, yeah, but just making sure people are calling the fire department. We're getting those people out. I don't know what to do, how to get someone out of that building or if it's safe for me to go in. But the, the fire department came in, like, within a minute, so they were on it. And there's a lot of smoke at this point. What was it like when it first started? What, could you see flames? Or? Yeah, no, it was just a little bit of smoke on the top of the building. You could see a little flame coming out of the building, but you just heard the screams. It was terrifying. And then, yeah, the entire building has taken over. And you were also here. We understand that part of the roof collapsed at one point when there were actually firefighters already in it. They did have to evacuate, and we understand that no firefighters have been hurt. But what? Uh, describe what was happening at that moment when that happened. Um, I, I don't remember. I've seen so much. This really went on for like an entire hour. I didn't feel right leaving, or nor can I. I think I'm trapped in here. Yeah. Um, I think it just collapsed, but there's people on top of the fire trucks, on top of the, the cranes. They really like went at it in all different directions. I've never been so proud to see so many people on it. Like, God bless the fire department. Well, and thank God you were here to also assist in the way that you did. Thank you so much, Lauren. Um, anyway, so we're on Troost Avenue. This is a 6800 block. As you can see, there are still uh, a mass of firefighters here. They have a lot of work ahead of them. But thankfully, so far, we have not heard yet of any injuries of anyone inside or the firefighters who are working on this situation. Guys, back to you.